hi guys you're welcome back to my channel in today's video tutorial i'm going to be showing you guys how you can register for the uba mobile banking i'm going to show you guys how you can activate your account how you can sign up for the uba mobile app so that you can start using the uba mobile app to carry out your bank transactions even without going to the bank so guys it's actually easy to do it just involves few steps so if you want to know how to do this just make sure you follow me to the end of this video and if this video is helpful to you please consider liking subscribing and leaving a comment as that will help grow this channel so guys without any further ado let's get started so guys now the first step you have to take now is to download and install this app into your phone it's very important in case you don't know how to download and install the app i've already made a video on how you can download and install the uba mobile app into your phone a link will be in the description go over to the description after you're done watching this video tap on the video link to watch the video you're going to learn how to actually download and install the uba mobile app into your phone whether you're using an android device or an ios device or an iphone so guys now let me go ahead now to show you guys how you can register how you can activate the uba mobile app how you can sign up for the uba mobile app to carry out your transactions so guys now let me tap on my uba mobile app right away let me tap on it so guys now you can see i'm in the uba mobile app so guys now the first step you have to take now is to choose your country and for you to do that you have to tap on that drop down icon there on the top left corner you can see there the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it so guys here now you have to choose your country within here you're going to find all the country that has the uba bank the united bank of africa so guys now let me go back let me choose my country i can see there my country is already chosen nigeria so guys let me go back now so guys now the next step you have to take now in order to register and activate this uba mobile banking is to tap on where you can see sign up so guys let me tap on it right away you can see down there at the bottom right corner the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it so guys now you can see what is written here sign up so guys now for you to actually activate this uba mobile app for you to actually sign up there are different ways there are different methods of signing up there are different ways to actually activate this uba mobile banking so guys now you can see the first one they said use activation code the second one is use activation code sme you can see the third option use activation code kids slash teens you can see the fourth option use debit card you can see the fifth one prepaid card you can see the sixth one activates with hash 919 hash pin you can see the seventh one account plus secure pass then you can see the last one which is registered in brand so you can go to any uba branch to actually activate this uba app so guys now the option that we're going to be using right here is actually the fourth one which is debit card so guys now what you have to do now is to get your uba debit card your atm card that's what we're going to be using to actually activate and actually register for this uba mobile banking so guys now let me tap on the fourth option so we get started let me tap on it you can see where the arrow is pointing at so let me tap on it so guys now you can see here is the first step so guys you have to input your atm card details or your atm card details right here so guys now what you have to do first of all is to choose your card type so what type of atm card do you use is it masters or visa or any other one you have to choose it right there and for you to choose it you have to tap on that icon there where the arrow is pointing at you have to tap on it to actually see the different types of card so guys can see there masters is there let me tap on that icon now so guys now you can see american express card so let me tap on the icon again you can see visa card let me tap on the icon again you can see verve card so let me tap on it again then it's back to master card so guys what you have to do now is to choose your card so guys the next thing you have to do now is to add your account number you can see where it is written account number i'm going to be doing that in a few seconds so guys after adding your account number what you have to do next now is to add the first six digits of your atm card number your atm card number is the 16 digit number in front of your atm card you can see the screen you can see that number there you have to copy out or you have to type in that six digit the first six digit of that atm card right there you can see there being encycled so that's what you have to type in there then over to the next one you have to impute the last four digits of your atm card number and also again your atm card number is the 16 digit number in front of your atm card you can see that encycled four digit there that last four digit you have to impute it there right the way that's what you need to impute there in that option that is written in last four so guys let's go over to the next one which is card pin your card pin is your atm pin your atm pin is the four digit pin that you normally use to authenticate all transactions that you carry out in your bank so you have to impute your atm card pin right there then over to the next one which is referral id that one is actually optional so we're going to be leaving it blank so guys let me go ahead now to impute my card details right away let me impute my account number the first six digits the last four digits and the card pin then we continue so guys let me impute it right away so guys now you can see i've imputed my account number the last six digits the last four digits and my card pin so guys what you have to do next now is to tap on where it is written 
validate you can see down there the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it so guys now you can see it's loading so guys now you can see we're over to the second step you can see what is written there uba account details are listed below kindly ensure that this is your account then tap next so guys what you have to do right away now is to cross check these details to make sure that this is actually your account number this is actually your account details so guys now let me check out the account details um that's my account name that's my account type um that's my account number and that is my mobile phone number then over to the expiry year and expiry month so guys this expiry year and the expiry month is the expiration year and month of your atm card so guys you can find this in your atm card in front of your atm card you can see displayed on the screen you can see that area in cycle is where you're going to find the expiration year and the expiration month of your atm card so guys you have to cross check it if it's actually correct so let me cross check mine um over here in my atm card my expiry year is 2027 so i have to change it so let me change it right away let me tap on the drop down icon there on the right hand side let me tap on it then let me choose 2027 then let me check for the expiry month uh, my expiry month is um april um april which is 04 so let me choose april right away let me tap on the drop down icon and let me choose april so guys now you can see i've been able now to cross check my bank details and all these are correct after you're done checking all of this and they are all correct what you have to do right away is to tap on where it is written next so guys let me tap on it right away so guys now you can see it's loading so guys now you can see what is written here kindly enter the verification code sent to your mobile phone number so guys what you have to do now is to wait for the verification code once it's sent to your phone it's going to be added there automatically even without you copying and pasting it right here so guys let's just wait so guys can see it has been added automatically so let me tap on submit right the way you can see where the arrow is pointing at let me tap on submit but before i tap on submit let me scroll down from the top of my phone to show you guys the message that was sent to me by uba to show you guys the code so you guys can see the code right there coming from uba you can see the arrow pointing at it so guys now let me go back let me go back then let me tap on submit so guys now you can see we are over to the fourth step which is the last step you can see what is written there set your four digit mobile banking pin this pin will be required when performing your transactions and services on mobile banking so guys what you have to do now is to choose the four digit pin you're going to be using to authenticate all your transaction here in this uba mobile app so guys now for you to do that you have to tap on where it is written set your four digit pin so guys let me tap on it now to set it let me choose my 4 digit pin let me type it right away then after typing the pin you have to re-enter or retype the pin again to be sure that the pin is actually correct so guys for you to do that you have to tap on where it is written re-enter the 4 digit pin so guys let me type on it again to tap in the 4 digit pin let me tap on it and let me type it in so guys after you're done imputing your 4 digit pin what you have to do now is to scroll down let me scroll down now so guys now you can see what is written there please set your password this password will be requested when entering the app so guys you have to set up your password and make sure the password is something that you can easily remember and is something that no one can easily guess so guys let me enter my password this is the password i'm going to be using to sign in or log in to my uba mobile app so make sure you don't forget it so guys let me input my password right away and for you to do that you have to tap on where it is written set your password so guys let me tap on it right away so guys after typing it in you have to re-enter the password again just like we did for the 4 digit pin so guys let me re-enter it to be sure that it is correct let me re-enter it right away so guys now after you're done imputing your 4 digit pin and your password what you have to do right away now is to tap on where it is written start using mobile banking you can see there the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it so guys now you can see it's loading let's just wait for a few seconds wow guys can see welcome again welcome please refresh the home page to update your data so guys what you have to do now is to tap on ok so let me tap on ok so guys now you can see what is written here please do not share the following with anyone the first one is debit slash credit card number and pin you don't have to share that with anyone your internet and mobile banking login details password and security questions and answers your one-time password otp or secure passcode so guys make sure you don't share any of those security information and details so guys what you have to do now is to tap on ok so let me tap on ok well guys you can now see we have successfully activated our uba mobile banking we have signed up we have registered for the uba mobile app now we can start using all the features here to carry out our daily bank transactions successfully so guys now you can see also to confirm that you've actually signed in and registered a message will be sent to you to your phone number to the phone number connected to your bank account so guys now let me scroll down from the top of my phone to show you guys the message um so guys you can see a message there said from uba welcome to you mobile 
your bank on your mobile so guys now you can see that's to show you guys that so guys now i've come to the end of this video and i believe i've been able now to show you guys how you can do this easily how you can actually activate your uba mobile banking so guys i've come to the end make sure you like subscribe and leave a comment and also if you're new to our youtube channel don't forget to hit the bell notification so that whenever i release a new video you're gonna get notified see you on the next upload bye bye peace